It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We all know it's been a crazy start to 2024 for rap. You have Nicki and Megan going at it. Benzino been talking about Eminem for years since those diss tracks back in the day, and Eminem finally responded on the Lyrical Lemonade album. And then Benzino came with a couple of diss tracks, the second one being probably one of the best Eminem disses that I've personally heard. But we all know that it was ghostwritten, and he even admitted that he was in the studio with some people. They helped him out with some bars, although I'm pretty sure they helped him out with the entire thing. I do think Cassidy was a part of it, but I'm still standing by Cassidy did not write the whole thing. I think that he gave him bars and, and, and stuff like that that's in that diss track, but I think it was a couple of different people, no different than he said he was in the studio with. So hopefully that comes out and we'll find out, but it's always an interesting time when Eminem gets dissed because we get some really dope diss tracks around it. Like sometimes, uh, I can't think of his name right now. Is it Dennis? I think that's his name. But he, he usually comes out with a diss track in response to whoever it is that dissed Eminem when like Nick Cannon did it. I even dropped one at that point and I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was a good time. That's on my main channel for anybody that is interested. We also talk more about Benzino and his ghostwriters on my main channel. I dropped a video yesterday or the day before, but I came across this video as Stan responds to Benzino that someone I'm familiar with has dropped and I know this is going to be some heat. So I wanted to share it with you guys and see what you guys thought about it. Let's get into it and let's see what this is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When there's a ghost fire, who you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbuster. Facts. NBA was a white thing, and aren't you glad we made it different? You wouldn't have the ball that's at the Jordan swap, lift to shake the culture, made a living. You saying I made prevalent, your beef of MMs, the only thing that keeps you relevant. Stop playing with this man already out the gate, out the gate. I have to agree with that, right? It is different, right? A sport versus music. So it, there, there are two different things, but it's the same kind of concept, right? Like people are trying to say like, oh, Eminem's a problem. Eminem's, you know, this white boy who's come in and he's utilizing our, our music, our, our culture and so on and so forth. And it's like, okay, well, basketball was created by a white man. That's like saying that black people shouldn't be able to be a part of that, or we shouldn't regard them as highly because they're not white, because it was made by a white man. When in reality, like he said, it, it, it's a good thing that it was diversified. It was a good thing that it, it's accepted that people of all different races can be a part of it because it ended up with us getting so many great people that we look up to, role models, heroes, both white, black, and, and otherwise, to be honest with you. So I, it's, it's all a benefit. So to look at rap and be like, yo, we don't want white people in rap or we're going to look at them differently, or they can't be on a top five list, or whatever dumb idea that you have, it's just, it's just ignorance, like, it's, it's really, really stupid, and I kind of had a discussion like this with some people the other day about, like, like, imagine if white people never enjoyed rap at all, and it was just black people that enjoyed rap, it wouldn't be as big as it is, and vice versa, if only white people enjoyed it, and black people were like, ah, well, since you guys like it, we're going to leave it alone, it wouldn't be what it is today, right, like, it takes a collection of all people, across the country, across the world, to like really be able to boost something to where it's at. So if anything, it's like just, it's it's not a bad thing that people of different cultures like hip hop. In India, you have an insane hip hop scene. They do numbers, like really crazy numbers as far as their views. And they were inspired from hip hop in the early days and now they've taken it and they're doing their own thing with it. And I think that's a beautiful thing. It's it's To me, I think it's dope to see something that you birth, get, get spread around the world and be loved and respected and utilized from so many different races, so many different countries. Like, I don't know why we would ever look at that as a negative thing. And I feel like that's just a weird angle that people tend to take because they just want to hate on someone. And they're like, well, what can I say about M? Because technically he's one of the best rappers ever. So I guess we're going to just say that he's white and he's in our he's in our culture. And it's, it's not a good thing. Like, it's just weird to me. I, I'll never understand that. The Ghostbuster. NBA was a white thing, and aren't you glad we made it different? You wouldn't have the ball that's at the Jordan to uplift to shake the culture, made a living. You saying I made prevalent, it be for them and them's the only thing that keeps you relevant. That's a fact. How you the culture when the culture doesn't like you, I ain't like you. I think you need the money more than I do. The internet despise you. So when I recite the rhymes, you hear me spitting on the mic, I write it just to spite you on the mic. You claim that he's a vulture, you're a joke. How are you the culture when you broke? First off, I swear so did and second nothing you said. There's rumors you was in the hotel, give it some head. You ain't seen him in town, you ain't seeking him out. And put the D on the map, you put the D in your mouth. Yo, some madness. For anybody that does not know, Ice Vezo is the person out of Detroit 
that Benzino was trying to say, said something about Eminem and why didn't Eminem respond to him? Because he's not really about that life, so to speak. But Ice Vezo came out with a video saying, listen, don't be putting my name in this. Like, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not, I'm not backing you in any way. Like, I don't beef with people from Detroit. Like, we all from Detroit, we're all in the same boat. We all push together kind of stuff. And so, it, real quickly, his diss track, as dope as it is, is starting to fall apart little bits. You know what I'm saying? Ghostwriters, people... Not acknowledging the things that he's saying about them, not agreeing with him that, you know, he put in there acting as if he could use them to try to take a shot at M and a lot of a lot of interesting stuff like that happening. But the whole, yo, I like that last bar. He's like, yo, I'm putting D on the map. You putting D in your mouth. And there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, if you like to put D in your mouth, there's there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just I guess it, it's it's a hard thing to. It's a hard thing to really try to explain, right, because it's like if you're making fun of it then you're trying to say that it's wrong. And I think that's how people take it, right? Like, oh, so you're against people being gay because you think it's a, a, a shot at someone to say that they take a D in their mouth. But it's not really like that. Like, it's no different than someone telling a girl, like, yo, you suck a lot of dick. Like, as a man, we like girls to do that to us, but that might still be a shot that someone takes at someone, right? So I, I think people need to look at it more like that. It's not necessarily a shot at someone's sexuality in, in, in the sense that it's like a disrespect to everybody that that's, homosexual do you know what i mean does that make sense what i'm trying to say i feel like people take it the wrong way because i've seen a few comments where people have said stuff like that regarding the the shots at benzino about him being in the shower with another man or whatever it is it's it's not necessarily saying that it's wrong but it's just it's just i don't know i don't know it's just it's just an angle to take is is the way i see it i don't really see it as being like yo this person is against gay people if that was the case then i would i disagree with it but i don't think that that's where it's really coming from seen him in town you ain't seeking him out and put the d on the map you put, put the d, d in, in your mouth, mouth. and his platinum status he don't need you for clout you need your daughter for money you need to figure it out and you've got an opportunity benny you're not opportunity hold up hold up listen Someone, someone in one of my other videos, I think it was the Cassius video, where I said, yo, Koi Ray, my girl, they was trying to hate on that. Don't be mad, your girl probably looked like Scooby, okay? And I don't, I'm not really, like, drooling over Koi Ray. I'm not like, yo, I'm such a fanboy, I'll do anything for her. I kind of just play it up in these videos because I think it's funny, but would I be lying if I said I'm not attracted to her? Yeah, I would be lying. I like, I like Koi Ray. I think she's got a dope body type. I think, I like short hair on women. I like long hair, too. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a very diverse person when it comes to what I like in a woman like I've dated women that were 250 pounds with a lot of cheeks on them and I've also dated women who were 90 pounds you know what I'm saying like I've, I've been all around the spectrum trust me I promise you it's all fun you just got to open up a little bit well, for money you need to figure it out and they've got an opportunity Benny an opportunity Con an opportunity voice an opportunity everybody left I'm just keeping it real if they sound with Diddy they would still be stuck in the deal and he don't support battle rap that's another real bar right there he gave a lot of people an opportunity, and I know some people will, will point out, like they did in the Benzino disc, they're like, well, Benny wasn't on Shady Records. I mean, he wasn't specifically signed to Shady Records. It was Griselda, so it, it's a little bit different, but they acknowledge M for giving them an opportunity for boosting them in front of more people. So it's 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 the same thing in, in all reality, the way that they're trying to explain it. But what he just said here is the truth. If it was Diddy that signed you to a deal, you'd still be stuck in that bitch. The reason why all these people left Shady Records is not because they dislike Eminem. He's cool with pretty much all of them besides like Joe Budden. But he doesn't sign people into contracts where they're trapped, where they're stuck. If they want to leave, they want to go somewhere else. He's the kind of person that's going to let them go do that, which means he's a great label owner. That's a good thing that there's no drama around it. And, oh, I got to wait out my contract for another three years or like for anybody that doesn't know, there was a period in time and, and Diddy did make it right. But I'm sure this has been the case for other other people as well. Jadakiss, Sheik Luch, and Styles P, I don't know why I couldn't think of his name, they were on a radio station where they were literally saying how they weren't making what they should make, they were stuck on this label with Diddy, and they were making comments about like, you know, if this was a cartoon, I'd push the fridge over on him, you know, just like saying it in a joking way, but almost saying like, we're ready to jump out that window, because this man is, is controlling our life, and we can't get free of it because of the fact that this contract has locked us in for such a long time, and we're not getting any benefits out of it. Like, this is just, it's really a bad look. And Diddy, thankfully, I think, called into that radio station. I think they ended up talking off the air, and he made it right, and I think he gave them their papers, let them leave, but it's not always the case. We've heard some other horror stories and stuff like that, so that's just... That's just the truth. I mean, you know, it, it's weird to throw shots at M because people leave his label with no problems, 
when other people have to fight and fight for years and years of their life and, and some of their their prime of their music to get themselves free of a uh, you know a record label. The real, if they sound with Diddy, they would still be stuck in the deal. And he don't support battle rap. Way battle Marv won on the Gate Mile DVD. You mean smart son? Gave Marv a shout out. Battle rap a shout out. Real. Let's not forget the total slaughter shit that he done. Everybody Woo! this. I gotta keep pausing it because he's yo he's bringing up a lot of facts. This is like an entire rebuttal to everything Benzino said. And shout out to Marv One, dope battle rapper. I remember watching him in the jump off two on twos. For anybody that's not seen that, you got to go back, watch those. That shit was hilarious. There's, there's been a lot of good times in battle rap over the years. I don't watch it as much as I used to, but I used to obsessively watch it. I went to grind time events in the past. I used to love watching the scribble jams, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't make sense to say that Eminem doesn't support battle rap just because he's not at the shows like Drake. Because Em's just not someone who likes to be around a large group of people like that. It, at least that's what it seems like. So, of course, he's not going to be at these battle rap events. But he's shouted out battle rap before. He obviously did 8 Mile, which is the biggest stage that battle rap has ever been on as far as a movie goes. What some people don't even realize is there's another battle rap movie that came out in the last, like, four years? Maybe five? or so. Maybe it's even been a little bit longer. But within the last, let's say, four to six years, it's called Bodied. And it was produced by Eminem, and it includes Disaster and other battle rappers from this era of battle rap in the movie. So he's continuing to give people opportunities, the, the Total Slaughter stuff, like, he's continued to give people opportunities, and it's, it's like, it's just weird that people don't acknowledge it just to try to create a narrative. And I mean, I get it, though, when you diss people, if you can create a narrative that people believe because they don't know all the facts, it works. It really does. But the truth is, M has shown a lot of love to the battle rap community, and I feel like he probably will continue to. Him. Imagine if he dispatched every single song he oh, made. Hold up, hold up. I, I gotta go back a little bit. I mean, smart son gave Marv a shout out. Battle rap a shout out. Real. Let's not forget the total slaughter shit that he done. Everybody dissed him. Imagine if he dispatched every single song he made would have to be a diss track. There's levels in his <laughs> leagues, fam. That's a fact. Like milk bone, the last emperor dissed him. Who the fuck are these, man? You look like a hamster when he's packing his cheeks. Who is your buddy in the hotel clapping your cheeks <laughs> when you're rapping his week? So we know you had a ghost right and mention proof to get him hot headed like the ghost rider. He Yo, I like how my man said clapping the cheeks because that's that's my statement. I be talking about clapping cheeks all the time. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. But I want to talk about the, the bars he said previous to that. M does get dissed on a regular basis, right? If, if he dissed everybody back that, that's ever dissed him or ever tries to diss him or throws shots at him, every song would be a diss track. Every song would be a diss track. So that's why you just don't get a response all the time. It's just, it's kind of just the way that it goes. I think he said something else in here that I like too. Rap a shout out. Well, let's not forget the total slaughter shit that he done. Everybody dissed him. Imagine if he dispatched every single song he made would have to be a diss track. There's levels in his leagues, fam. Like milk bone, the last emperor oh. dissed him. Who the fuck are these, man? I can understand where he's coming from. I'm not really familiar with milk bone. Last emperor is dope, though. I do think that he's dope, but at the same time, he's not like a super known person, right? And again, that kind of goes back to the if M responded to everybody who dissed him. Like every song will be a diss track. So it's like you gotta pick and choose the ones that make the most sense to you, and those ones probably just didn't make much sense. You look like a hamster when he's packing his cheeks. Who is your buddy in the hotel clapping your cheeks? Man, you're rapping this week. So we know you had a ghost right and mention proof to get him hot headed like the ghost Don't rider. Work, he's saying he invades a culture just to diss us. Every single chance he get, he uses it to give love. Just listen to his rock and roll hall of fame list. Let me one other rapper that be doing that shit. Apparently the man Eminem keeps us divided. The only reason he be getting hate is because he's white and we hate your double standards and your racism is bullshit. You've been shot before, so you can take my shots because what's a bullet, huh? Ooh. Plus, you've been taking shots in the hotel, too. <laughs> yo, I'm done. I'm done. All right, yo, he said a lot of good shit in this. A lot of good shit in this. I didn't want to keep pausing it, so I waited a little bit. The Ghost Rider, you be dropping proof's name to get him hot headed like the Ghost Rider. I thought that that was a dope little play on words and stuff like that. Um, Hold on, let me see what else he said here. So we know you had the ghost rider. Mention proof to get him hot headed like the ghost rider. Keep saying he invades a culture just to diss us. Every single chance he get, he uses it to give love. To That's the truth. M gives love so much to other artists. He's always given love to the past artists. He's always given love to people that he thought came before him that were extremely dope. His rock and roll hall famous. He sat there forever and listed off so many different people. Instead of just saying a couple, he's like, no, I got a whole list. I'm using my whole entire time to say everybody on this list because I want to show love. And I think afterwards he even said, yo, I forgot some people. Here's more people that I want to add to that list. So it's like, 
it's just weird to be like, oh, he just uses our culture to diss us. He's not really about it. He's he doesn't really show love and he never gives back. And it's like, what are you talking about? When have you ever seen Benzino do any of that? You ain't never seen that man do any of that. Now, obviously, he ain't write the diss track. Somebody else wrote it and they thought that that was a good bar. But I feel like it doesn't sound good coming from Benzino because he's not doing half the shit that he's claiming M isn't doing. Just listen to his rock and roll Hall of Fame list. Let me want other rapper that be doing that shit. Apparently, the man Eminem keeps us divided. The only reason he be getting hate is because he's white and we hate your double standards and your racism is bullshit. You've been shot before, so you can take my shots because what's a bullet, huh? That's the truth, though. There's a lot of double standards in life, and it, it, it just gets presented more and more as time goes on. And it's like, I, I don't think we're ever going to come together. There's always going to be this weird air about some people's mentality where it's like, because you're white, because you're black, because you're this color, because you're that, because you're a girl, because you're a man. Like, it's, it's just going to forever be a thing. And it sucks, but I just don't see that shit ever changing. I really don't. But I do think that it needs to be called out when it needs to be called out. And, and I think that more and more people will start to get on board with like, okay, this this is stupid. Like, why why would this matter if it doesn't matter in reverse? Or, you know, like, it's just a lot of shit like that. But anyways, this was fire. This, this responded to pretty much Benzino's entire diss track. Like, I thought that it was dope, and uh, I think that it's a good idea when artists do stuff like this surrounding shit like Eminem getting dissed. Like, I don't think that it's people coming out to be like, M's incapable. I've got to I've got to defend his honor because I'm such a big fan. I don't think that that's where it comes from, and some people may look at it that way. Because um, I actually just responded to something on Twitter about this, and I'm not taking a shot at that person. I've, I've seen people say this multiple times, even when I did my Nick Cannon diss back in the day. What it really is is that it's just a great opportunity to get yourself seen because Eminem has such a huge and strong fan base that if somebody comes out and does a diss response to someone that dissed him and you time it properly, you can get a whole lot of people to watch your stuff and a good portion of them might say, you know what, I like this dude. This is really, really dope. Let me check out his other music. And so it kind of just builds you, right? It's taking advantage of a popular moment. That's really what it comes down to and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it, obviously, you should be an Eminem fan. You shouldn't just, like, if you don't like Eminem, don't try to act like you're defending him just to get views. You should also be a fan of him, but I don't think it just comes from the point of, like, I'm a fan, I've got to defend his honor. That's not, you know, if, if it is, that's weird. If that's your mentality, that's weird. But if you're doing it more as a marketing plan, I think that it's a smart idea. So shout out to my man. I'm going to put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, see more about the stuff that he does. Does drop music. It is dope. I, I have made quite a bit of music with him myself, actually. So... This was, uh, this was fun. This was definitely fun. Interesting. Um, I think he's got something out soon now. Or, yeah. I think he's got some, some other song that's dropping or dropped or something like that. But anyways, you guys can check it out if you'd like. Let me know what you thought about this. If more stuff drops, like if Dennis drops something or anybody else that you feel like is worth checking out, please let me know down below in the comments or keep me updated in my DMs on Twitter, Instagram. All my links are down below. But uh, I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one, homies.